Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm gonna show you how to upgrade the SSD and the memory modules on your Dell XPS 15 9500. We'll also be discussing how to pick the right components and accessories and how to clean install Windows 10. And I'll also give you some tips on SSD cloning. So let's get started. For this upgrade you're going to need a Philips NT5 Torx screwdrivers, NVMe or NGFF M.2 SSD and compatible memory modules. But you may also need a heatsink for the second drive and a thermal pad for a new SSD, just in case if the original one is damaged or dried out. I'll put the links to all this stuff down below in the description. Ok, so let's go ahead and start by removing these 8 screws that hold the base cover to the casing. Now with those screws removed, you're going to need a spudger or any plastic opening tool to pry open the cover. Starting from the bottom left corner, carefully pry the base cover in the direction of the arrows. Don't pull or pry the cover at the side where the hinges are located, because it may damage the cover. Finally grab the left and the right sides of the cover and lift it up and out of the case. Before you start working inside the computer, I'd suggest disconnecting the battery, especially if you're not confident in your skills. So as you can see inside we got two slots, for the memory modules and four M.2 SSDs. Let's start with replacing memory modules. Use your thumbs to gently push the retaining clips outward until the memory module pops up, and then remove the module from the slot. As you can see, Dell uses 3200MHz memory, when the maximum RAM speed that this laptop can handle is 2933MHz, which is the native speed of Intel's 10th gen CPUs. In such cases, the BIOS will automatically downclock the memory to the correct speed, but the problem is your memory may not support that frequency and it will be downclocked to the next lower speed. It might sound a bit complex, but let me explain. This laptop only supports JEDEC memory standards, so before you buy a new memory module, it's important to check its JEDEC profile speeds. For example, these modules have the same specs, but the JEDEC profile of this crucial module doesn't support the speed we need. And if you install this module into your laptop, it will operate only at 2666 MHz. I'm gonna use these Kingston HyperX memory sticks, 32 gigs each, and they natively support 2933 MHz speed, the link in the description. This laptop supports up to 64 gigs of RAM, which is enough for almost any task. I suggest buying two identical memory modules, 16 or 32 gigs each, so they could run in dual channel mode, which will give you an extra performance boost. So, simply align the notch on the memory module with a tap on the slot, then slide the memory module firmly into the slot at an angle and gently press the module down until it clicks into place. And repeat the process for the second module. Now let's move on to the SSDs. This laptop supports two types of M.2 SSDs, super fast NVMe or PCI Express with M key and NGFF, which is a SATA drive just like this one, but in a small M.2 form factor, with B or B plus M keys. It's ok to use NGFF as a second drive, just for storing your data, but you'll definitely want to have NVMe SSD as your main system drive. As you can see, the second M.2 slot doesn't have a heatsink, so we have to buy it separately. This is original OEM part, which costs about 20 bucks, and it comes with a pre-applied thermal pad and several screws. These heatsinks have different mounts, so they're not interchangeable. And by the way, you can use any NGFF SSD without the heatsink, because they never overheat compared to NVMe. So we have few options here. You can leave your stock SSD and install the second drive. You can also clone your existing SSD onto the new one and then replace the old drive with a new one. Or you can simply replace your old SSD with a new one and then clean install Windows 10. And that's what we're going to do. I never recommend cloning because both reliability and performance wise it's not the best option. Anyway, it's up to you. I have a video on cloning, the link will be displayed at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and replace the SSD. First we need to remove the screw. Then carefully slide out the heatsink and then remove the drive. This is the smallest M.2 20-30 form factor, which you can install into a compatible enclosure, like this one, and used as a super fast and reliable USB drive. 
If your laptop came with the M.2 2280 SSD, then you can use an enclosure just like this. All the links in the description. So, as you can see in my case, the thermal pad is in pretty good condition, so we can try to reuse it. But I'd recommend replacing the old pad with a new 0.5mm thick thermal pad from Grizzly. All you need to do is remove the old pad, clean the heatsink with rubbing alcohol, and then apply the new one. And don't forget to remove all protective films, because otherwise it won't cool down your SSD. Speaking of SSDs, I recommend using Samsung N70 Evo Plus or Samsung N80 Pro. These are one of the best and fastest NVMe SSDs on the market. If your laptop has an Intel's 10th gen CPU, then you can go with one of these drives. And if it has 11th gen CPU, then go with 980 Pro. Ok, so let's install the drive. Slide the drive into the slot at an angle and gently press it down. Then slide the heatsink into the mount and secure it with a screw. Now let's put everything back together. Connect the battery to the motherboard, put the cover back on and snap it into place by starting from the bottom right corner and then work your way around to the bottom left corner. Finally replace the 8 screws and turn on a computer. You'll be alerted that the amount of system memory has changed. If you want to check new installed components, you can click on Diagnostics or simply click Continue. Next, we need to install Windows 10. If you already have a bootable USB drive, then simply plug it in, turn on your laptop and follow the on-screen instructions. And if you don't have the drive, then you'll need to create one. Go to Microsoft's website, the link in the description, and download Media Creation Tool. Then go to your Downloads and open the file. Click Accept, select Create Installation Media, then select the language you want to use and click Next. Now plug in your USB drive. Click Next, select your USB drive, click Next and wait for the download. And once that's done, you can start installing Windows 10. All you have to do is plug it in, turn on your laptop and it will automatically boot from the USB drive. Now simply choose your Windows Setup options. Click Next, click Install Now, Accept Terms and Conditions, click on Custom, Install Windows Only, select the primary partition and click Next. And that's it! Your Windows will be automatically activated with no product key required. And you'll get the same Windows 10 edition. So, we're up and running and now let's check my computer specs. As you can see, we got 64 gigs of RAM. And now if I go to the Samsung Magician here, you can see my 2TB drive, its temperature and the performance benchmark. And here's the performance difference between the stock drive and Samsung N80 Pro. And it's obviously pretty stark. Ok, now let's talk about some of the essential accessories. And I'm gonna start with a sleeve. This sleeve is made out of waterproof nylon, it has a front pocket here, nice padding, very soft interior and it fits my laptop perfectly. If you want to organize your desk space, then you'll need a laptop stand. This stand is made of aluminum, it's very sturdy, well built and it fits both 13 and 15 inch laptops. In case if you want to connect your laptop to an external monitor or TV, then you'll need a Thunderbolt 3 or USB-C to HDMI or DisplayPort cable. These cables can deliver native HDMI and DisplayPort signals, and they both support 4K at 60Hz. And since we only have USB-C ports here, you'll definitely need some high-quality USB adapters and cables. All the links in the description. So that's it, I hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.